Hey, it's John and Mike from Brew-Juice.com again. We're back for another video. In the previous video, uh, we talked about um, an IPA water chemistry experiment I've got going on, continuing with our exploration of uh, water chemistry and how it affects our beers. Um, but so that's my experiment, and we'll be talking about that more in the future. But um, you know, John, recently you, you did a lager, right? And you started thinking yeah. about uh, water chemistry yeah. too. It was a, a German pilsner, and I know that um, I think that some of the things I read online, and even in recipe books, you know, the the sulfate uh, content in your water is important to get the that hop level uh, to a point where it kind of matches the um, the types of uh, pilsners that are coming out of that country. Um, so what did I do? Well, well, I looked at our water report and I know that uh, we had uh, one issue, which was a high sodium level um, and very little sulfate. <laughs> uh, so what I did was, uh, to get the sodium down, the chlorides down, I did half and half with um, filtered water from our, um, our, our water source, uh, the, uh, the tap, the tap water. and then I, uh, took, uh, I went and bought four gallons of uh, distilled water. So. Mix both of those together with a so a total of nine gallons, a little bit more tap water than distilled, but still I figured out the um, the breakdown, and uh, did a Google search, found some uh, a, a brew water calculator. Um, it wasn't just a button on my you know Casio; it was yeah. actually a, a spreadsheet that I found. Um, I don't remember which one it is, but you know look for it. I think it was Brewing Water. I think that's the name of it. Yeah. Um, so. Plugged in how much water I was going to use, how much was actually distilled, how and then all the numbers attached to the, the tap water one, and then found the, the profile for Munich and uh, got the results back of what I need to put in in terms of uh, calcium sulfate or um, gypsum. Is that it? gypsum? Yep, gypsum. Uh, to uh, to not only the mash water. I know we were we're not talking about that yet, but I said all right. Well, this is how much I'm using in mash. This is how much is going to be in total boil. It broke down the amount to put into the mash and then also into the full boil so that it would match what Munich's um, water chemistry is. And it went from there. So I don't know if that's great or not, but uh, I thought, hey, if that's a German city, yeah, it's a pretty, German Pilsner, I have no idea. It's pretty tricky go. to try to lay out where you're going to do some of those mineral additions too, like in the mash, in the boil, all the water, just the sparge water. A lot of people struggle with that sometimes too, so those calculations. Yeah help out with that quite a bit. So I mean effectively you tried to cut your sodium and your chloride level in half by diluting it with distilled water, right? Yep. And then you're you're building back in some some sulfate. That's right. Yep. To help out with the, that was the plan. Yeah. The hop the hop profile, right? So so you're doing that, I mean so what um, you're measuring out powdered sulfate, calcium sulfate gypsum, right? You know, what what kind of scale or device you're using do they run into problems with that? Uh, like? It's a kitchen scale. I mean it does grams, but only in whole numbers. And uh, wasn't too bad on the mash side because it was two grams and I could measure that out no problem but the other side of it in the boil was two and a half so um, I did the best I could <laughs> in terms of just uh, going two and then putting a little bit more and not seeing they went to three saying that's two and a half yeah. and going from there but I think if you know since it seems like a little amount makes a big difference so to get a scale that that can measure and at least you know, intensive grams, I think would be important to, to keep going if we're going to keep going down this route of being as accurate as, as possible to work with your water chemistry to make great beer. So. Yeah. Great. Well, that sounds good. <laughs> so that we'll see good. how that turns out. Right see now it it's, it's out, right? still in the primary fermenter. It's still going away. I did a diacetyl rest, which we can talk about. Um, but it's still, uh, I'm trying to get it as dry as possible. I'm trying to get to that uh, final gravity that I'm, that I'm targeting. So, but after that's done, which probably is going to be in a few months, um, we'll have that taste and see if that's, uh, if that addition did what it was supposed to do. Which is to get oh. nice of like, you know, floral, spicy hops right up front. Noble hops right up front. Noble hops. Yes. Nice. So, that's cool. It. So that's cool. a water chemistry experiment two, sort of. Exploring our water chemistry. <laughs> I mean, I know what that means. It's, it's, it's an ongoing is, process. It's an ongoing process. Ongoing process. In my own sign language. Great. So. Okay, well, there you have it. Stay tuned. More videos, tasting videos in the future. These great uh, tasting notes with water chemistry in our beers. Um, if you got questions about water chemistry or comments, uh, leave them in the comment section. Um, so from John and Mike, brew on. Brew on.